Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Kriska Yoga. Today, we will be doing a yoga class for strength and toning your muscles. If you aren't following, this is day six of the 12 days of Kriska Yoga where I am providing 12 videos in a row in the month of December. So if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so that you do not miss out on the rest of this really fun 12 days of videos. This class is really strengthening. It is a vinyasa flow class, so you'll be flowing through the movement. It's a bit challenging, but you can modify it if you are more on the beginner level. I would say this is a strong beginner level yoga class, so I really hope you enjoy it. So if you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. So we're going to begin in child's pose. Come down on your hands and knees. Bring your big toes to touching behind you. Sit your hips onto your heels. Your knees are apart. Relax your torso over your thighs, bringing your forehead to the floor and stretch your arms out in front of you. Relax here. You can close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Release it out. Begin to come inward for a moment, quieting your mind by focusing your attention on your inhales and your exhales. Just remain here and breathe. Slowly come up to your hands and your knees. Bring your shins parallel to one another, hands underneath your shoulders. Uh, palms are flat on the ground, spread your fingers wide. The tops of your feet are on the floor and your spine starts out straight. On your next inhale, tuck your toes and arch your back. Look up and forward, spreading your shoulders and collarbones wide apart for cow pose. And on your exhale, untuck your toes, curve your spine in the opposite direction, reaching your upper back towards the ceiling, look towards your thighs for cat pose. Inhale, come back to your cow pose. Exhale, untuck your toes, come back to your cat. Inhale, tuck your toes for cow. Exhale, untuck the toes and come back to the cat pose. And take this time now to move on your own breath timing. With each inhale, come here to your cow pose. And with each exhale, come back to your curve for cat pose. Come back to a flat back neutral spine. And from here, tuck your toes and straighten your legs, pressing up through the hands and feet into downward facing dog. And in our first downward dog for this class, I'd like you to pedal your legs. So alternate bending and straightening your legs, gently pressing your heel down each time you straighten the leg. And don't be too forceful with this. This is the first real 
big stretch of the class. So just be gentle with yourself, gently working through the muscles in your hips and the backs of your legs and your feet. And just breathe as you're moving. And slowly come to stillness in your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward and take as many steps as you need to walk your feet up to the top of your yoga mat, coming to a forward fold. Relax your head over, bend your knees to start out for this forward fold. Place your hands on the floor, relax your head completely. And take an inhale through your nose, come up to standing. Reach your arms all the way up. Palms facing each other, lengthen your entire body. And exhale, bring your hands down by your sides. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Moving through a slow Surya Namaskara A, rotate the upper arms around and on an inhale, raise them all the way up. Exhale, come to a forward fold, bring your hands to the floor, relax your head over. Inhale, straighten your spine, looking up halfway. You can bring your hands to your shins for even more length in the spine. And on an exhale, come down. Plant your palms flat onto the floor. Step back one foot at a time into a plank to start out. Hold for a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Drop the knees down, untuck the toes. Come all the way down onto your belly. Bring the forehead to the floor. I'm going to adjust myself. Have your palms flat on the ground next to your ribs, elbows pointed upward. Take an inhale, lift your head off the ground, keeping the tops of your feet on the floor behind you. Lift your head up and your shoulders using your upper back muscles. And slowly on an exhale, you'll lower your head back down. Inhale, lift your head off the ground, lift your shoulders. Exhale, lower your head down. Last time, inhale, lifting your head and shoulders off the ground. And exhale, lower down. Press into the ground, lifting your body up. Tuck your toes, and from here, straighten your legs into downward facing dog. Hold for a moment in your down dog. Bend your knees if you Still feel a bit tight in the hamstrings. Pressing the heels down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold here. Release it out in the same way. And from here, raise your heels on an inhale. Bend your knees generously and look forward. Take as many steps as you need to come up to a half Forward fold. Exhale, fold into your Uttanasana, forward fold. And inhale, come up to standing, reaching your arms up. Lengthen your whole body. And exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. We'll take Surya Namaskar A or Sun Salutation A. A little bit on the faster pace now, moving through the full expression of the sun salutation. Inhale, rotate your arms around and raise them all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the floor, relax your head over. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms flat. Step or lightly jump. I recommend stepping into Chaturanga. Flip to the tops of your feet. For upward facing dog arch, your legs are off the ground, your back is in an arch. 
Press yourself up to downward facing dog. Hips are up and back on the diagonal. Heels pressing down towards the floor. Palms are flat on the ground. All your fingers are spread wide. You're not locking into your elbow joints, so you're holding yourself up with your arm muscles. Hold for several deep inhales and exhales. Take an inhale, raise your heels all the way up, bend your knees, look forward, step to the top of your yoga mat for a half forward fold. Exhale, fold back down. On an inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach your arms up. Exhale, release your hands down by your side. Stand tall in mountain pose or tadasana. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. On your next inhale, we're going to sit the hips back and reach the arms up on the diagonal for a chair pose, also known as fierce pose. Hold here for a moment. You should be able to lift your toes off the ground. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, come to your forward fold. Hands to the floor, relax your head over. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms flat. Step or lightly jump into Chaturanga Dandasana. Flip to the tops of your feet. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, raise your right leg all the way up behind you. Step that foot forward in between your hands. Coming into high lunge on the right side. This is a modified sun salutation B. So we're gonna keep the back leg up, the back heel is up. The right knee is directly above the right ankle. Press into the ground with both of your feet. Raise your arms up for high lunge on the right side. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Keep lunging forward into that right leg. On your next exhale, Plant your hands down to the ground. Step back into a plank. Hold for a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And raise your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, raise your left leg all the way up behind you. Step the foot forward. Knee is above the ankle on the left, staying on the ball of your right foot. The heel is raised. Raise your arms up for high lunge on the left, lunging forward into the left leg, reaching the arms all the way up, pressing down into your lunge through your legs. And on your next exhale, let your hands down to frame your left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Hold, take a deep breath in and out. Hold here for five deep inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, raise your heels, bend your knees, look forward and lightly jump your feet back to a half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. On your next inhale, sit your hips back, reach your arms up and forward for Utkatasana, also known as fierce pose, chair pose. Hold. And inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, sit your hips back, reach your arms up and forward for Utkatasana once more. Hold here for a moment. And on your next exhale, forward fold, bring your hands to the floor, relax your head over, inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms flat onto the ground, lightly jump or step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, raise your right leg all the way up behind you. Step it forward. In between the hands, right knee 
directly above the right ankle. This time we're setting the back heel down at a 45 degree angle and aligning your right heel with your left arch. Press into the ground with both of your feet. Spin your hands out and around to warrior two. Keep lunging forward into that right leg, the back leg. Left leg is straight. Holding strong in warrior two with your arms, your upper body looking over the right hand. Hold here for a moment. From here, reach the torso over the right leg. And then you can place the forearm on the top thigh or place the right hand down onto the ground or onto a block, reaching the right arm up and over into side angle pose. Now I would generally prefer a block here, but for now this is fine. Hold energetically, reaching the right arm up. Keep lunging forward into that right leg. Try not to rely too much on that right arm to hold you up. Hold here for one more breath. And from here, press into the ground with both of your feet. Come back through warrior two. Spin your hands down to frame your right foot. Step back into a plank pose. Hold here. And on an inhale, raise your hips up and back. Downward facing dog, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, raise your left leg all the way up behind you. Take an inhale, step the left foot forward. Bring the knee directly above the ankle. Set the back foot down at 45 degrees and align the left heel with the right arch. Press into the ground with both feet. Spin the arms around, bringing the torso up, palms facing the floor for warrior two on the left. Hold your warrior two, breathe. Keep the torso up, off the top thigh. So try not to do this. We wanna keep our torso straight up and down and hold for a moment. From here, we're coming into our side angle pose. So reaching the torso over the left leg, you have the option of placing the forearm on the thigh, on a block, so the hand on a block, or if you can, if you don't feel too cramped, bring the hand down to the floor. So that's what I'm going to do. So place your hand or your arm on your chosen surface, and then reach your right arm up and over on the diagonal, looking up, and once you find your high, you're not your high lunge. This is side angle pose. Hold here and breathe. And press into the ground with both of your feet. Come back up into your warrior two. Spin your hands down to frame your left foot. Step back into plank. Hold plank. And send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe here deeply in and out through your nose and hold. From here, raise your heels all the way up on an inhale. Bend your knees generously, look forward, and lightly jump your feet or step your feet up into a half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sit your hips back, reach your arms up and forward for Utkatasana once more. On an inhale, stand up tall. On an exhale, bring your hands down by your sides. From here, we're going to come to sitting down on the ground. From here, we'll take a boat pose, also known as Navasana. So we're going to sit up tall on the two sits bones at the bottom of the pelvis. 
tilt the torso back on the diagonal, lift the shins up parallel to the floor, and reach the arms out in front of you. So our body is in a V shape, as you can see, and wherever you are in your boat pose, hold, breathe. And from here, cross your shins, sit up tall, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, come to a forward fold, looking down. Slowly come up out of your forward fold. And then we're going to swing our legs around. Sit up tall, flex your feet, your legs are straight out in front of you. From here on an inhale, sit up tall, and on an exhale, come to a forward fold. Relax your head over, hold on to your shins, your ankles, or your feet, and breathe here in your forward fold. Slowly come up out of your forward fold, bend your right leg, bring the right knee out to the side. Inhale, lengthen your spine and reach your left arm up. Exhale, bring the left elbow to the right knee. Bring the right arm behind you. Use your arms and your hand on the ground to help you lengthen the spine once more. And on your next exhale, twist around to the right. As you're here, sit up tall, keep the left foot flexed as well. And with each inhale that you take, lengthen the spine. With each exhale, twist a bit deeper and breathe. Slowly unwind from your twist, straighten the right leg, bend the left, take an inhale, lengthen the spine, reaching the right arm up towards the ceiling, bring the right elbow to the left knee, the left arm behind you, take an inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist around to the left. As we did on the other side, with each inhale, lengthen the spine even further, and with each exhale, twist a little bit deeper and hold here in your twist. Slowly unwind from the twist, straighten the leg, and from here we'll come to lying on the back. From here, bend the legs, and take the right ankle, cross it over the left thigh, bring the right knee out to the side, hug the legs in towards your chest, and hold on to the left hamstring with both of your hands, flexing both of your feet. Hold here as you hug the legs in with your hands and arms, Stretching the outer edge of your right leg, your glutes, and breathe here. From here, release your hands from your legs, set the foot down, 
and keep your legs in this shape as you twist your lower body over to the left. Bringing the bottom of your right foot to the ground, take hold of your knee in your left hand and keep the knee in line with the ankle. Twist your upper body to the right, reaching your right arm out and bending the arm into a cactus shape. And you're going to hold here and breathe in your twist. Slowly unwind from your twist, bring your legs back to center, uncross the ankle. We're going to take that whole thing on the other side. Take the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, bring the left knee out to the side, hug the legs in towards the chest, flexing both of your feet. Hold onto the right hamstrings with both of your hands. Hug the legs in towards the chest and breathe in the stretch. Remove the hands from your leg. Keep your legs in this shape and twist the legs over to the right, twisting the whole lower body over. The bottom of your left foot is on the floor. Take your right hand. Use that hand to help keep your knee in line with your left ankle. Twist your upper body to the left, bending the arm up in a cactus shape, looking over to the left. Hold here in your twist. Slowly bring the head back to center, bring the legs back to center, uncross the ankle, and we're going to take Shavasana. Stretch the legs out onto the ground, separate the legs slightly apart. Bring your hands down by your sides and turn your palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and begin to deepen your breath. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. Quiet your mind by focusing all your attention on your inhales and your exhales. If another thought comes into your mind as you're here focusing on the breath, just notice that the thought is there and gently set it to the side, coming back to focusing on the breath. Remain here.
bring some slight motion back into your body, gently moving your hands, your feet, your arms, your legs. Bend your legs and roll onto the right side, resting there with your knees bent and your arm underneath your head for support. Use your hands to help you come up to a seated cross-legged position. Cross your shins, flexing your feet under your knees. Bring your hands to your legs, sit up tall and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a deep breath out. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest. Bow your head to your fingertips. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below the video. Let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite part of this class? Do you like the flowing nature of it? Do you like a particular pose? Let me know. I always love to hear from you in the comment section below and interact with you. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. For on the regular, there's two free yoga classes every single week. But for now, this is still the 12 days of Kriska Yoga, so there will be six more videos after this one for the next six days. So you definitely don't want to miss out on those. So hit that subscribe button, it's free to subscribe, and also turn on notifications, hit that bell button next to it, so you don't miss out on any videos coming up. For even more yoga from me, helpful yoga tips and advice, free yoga challenges, there are tons of resources on there, go ahead and visit my website, Kriska Yoga. Dot com and also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Kriska Yoga for daily yoga motivation inspiration behind the scenes of this channel so much more on the Insta story definitely head over to Instagram follow me over there all of the links to everything are listed in the description box below this video thank you so much see you next time